maybe you notice that I'm not like the most popular YouTuber in the world. Like, uh, for example, I have 952 subscribers, <clears throat> and I've been on YouTube since 2011. Music-wise, I've been on YouTube since 2007. So, not the most popular, no, I'm not. But you go to, like, Facebook, you ask around people, yeah, everybody's heard of me. And that's the kind of popular I am. I'm a little bit more Facebook popular. And the thing is, is that, well, some days I have days where I'm not quite trending on YouTube. But I am really, really smoking on, um, I am really, really smoking on, um, online. And I have a lot of stuff going on, especially when I do stuff... Like, for example, here's Near Sniper Community. Really nice. Nice board. Um, some nice guy today decided that he was going to... Hell, hell Heath. Nice work. Nice work. Decided that he was going to... Oh, come on, computer. My computer's not being my friend right now. Um, that he was going to... When I ask him if it's blasted, it looks like an airsoft or water BB. If it's an earth blaster. Yes, it shoots darts at a long hair and angle American... Fatsos. Well, that guy got banned, and so did the guy who thumbs up him. He got banned too. Would you ban him? Well, I would ban him. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a. As you see, the Eternals, as you see on Death by Nerf Blaster, this is the um, pusher and um, pusher cup assembly and bolt sled assembly that's in Big Blue. And Big Blue is a big deal. Uh, why is it a big deal? Well, for example, that is a jet blaster designed shell made by, um, I'm sorry, an explorer designed shell made by jet blaster. Uh, it's got my barrel, it's got my Merlin, it's got my Gatana mag, um, it's got a prototype metal alpha breech, as you can see. Okay. Here's the point of this it's got an artifact bolt sled. You can see the gold artifact sled that Enoch gave me. There it is, right there. Mm -hmm. It's got a uh, Turf 18.5 in it. My point of this blaster is the only way to get there is together. And it shoots crazy thunder. It's big blue. It's great, you know. It's bitchin'. But uh, today was pretty interesting. And, and I have a lot to um, discuss. And I will discuss this on uh, the next Owl Ranch as well. The new Explorer XEP. Hmm. You can imagine when I saw this, I was like, ah. Uh, you know. So, metal slide, metal trigger, metal uh, magazine, magazine catch, metal magazine, Delwin body. Five shots, five plus one if loaded, making a capacity of six. How much do you think it is? How much do you think this blaster is? How much would you pay for that blaster? Put in mind the X pistol is around $85 American, which is about 120 Singapore. Okay. 550 Singapore. That's right. 550 Singapore. My God. It's just... What is he trying to do? Is he bucking for early retirement or something? I mean, seriously. I see a few problems with it. One, it's a lot of money. It's handy, it's small, and put in mind, in Armageddon, I got about nine saves in Armageddon just by simply pulling my blaster out of holster and shooting a person at close range with that thing, okay? I like the Mauser Fire because, okay, it may not be as short of a blaster, it's not made to look like some kind of, you know, Glock wannabe like this thing is, but it's smaller footprint, it's handy. It's in a three-point holster that comes out real easy. So, that has, that's a role of a backup blaster, you know, and I, I'm really big into backup blasters, you know. But there's also a point where the blaster becomes a crossover for primary if you get in trouble on the field, you see. And this blaster, I feel, just can't do it. It's got a small little barrel, okay. The barrel can only be at most that long, okay. That's like an inch, inch and a quarter. Your plunger tube is, I, I've seen, it's probably the same one they use on a... X pistol, also small. It doesn't have the draw handle on it, okay? So it's all internal, which is cool. And you don't have that sticking out, you know. But 
for five hundred fifty dollars, I can buy so many things. I I, I a, a, a fully built Chrono Mag, okay, two hundred with the spring upgrade, two thirty. If I were to three D print that, put a scope on it, put a stock, about three hundred USD. For that, that would cost you three hundred USD right there. And this thing is top notch. This thing is great. This thing shoots over two hundred flat. It's bitching, okay. Mauser fire, brand new one of those would cost about two fifty USD. Because the frames, the side frames are fiberglass, and it's really hard to build one of these and get it perfect. Um, great blaster, but five fifty. There's so many things I could buy for five hundred fifty dollars. Okay, I think any modder can buy for five hundred fifty dollars. Do I think it's a bad blaster? No. Do I think it's a bad design? No. It's a good design. It's not one that could double as a primary, but it's uh, it's a decent design. It's very solid. Um, there, it very much looks like the um, the friend pistol that he made for Drac. Why did Hang not build me a friend pistol? Well, he got in the way of his conflict of interest one day, and he stopped being my friend. That's the kind of person Hang is. But the design is not a bad design. But it's too high in price, and 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 it can benefit very strongly from a longer barrel, more power, and more plunger. So, at any rate, this is Chris Cartea saying. I'm not the pistol ace for no reason, <laughs> okay? I know these things, all right? And I feel like being without a team and we're just all kind of mad at each other, it doesn't help anybody. But at the same time, you know, I'm not going to let some jive-ass guy in Singapore cheat me. And I'm definitely not going to put up with, well, you're my friend one minute, but you're not the next minute when you're not perfectly doing what I want you to do. That's no kind of friendship at all. So take care.